And that you is not about you. And as we look at this first passage that speaks about the temple of God, you'll look and you'll see that, and in him, you too are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his spirit. And that you is not about you. That you is plural. And it's very clear because then after that he says you're being built together to form a temple, a dwelling in which God's spirit resides. You know, if you really think about it, when if you say I, my body is the temple of God, it's a little bit illogical and a little bit arrogant. Here's what I mean, okay? Jesus, like our savior, is a cornerstone. The apostles and all the prophets create the rest of the foundation. And then me, I'm the temple. (laughs) Me in myself as an individual, I show the glory of God that is the temple of God. Doesn't really make much sense when you read it that way, does it? You know, here in this passage, it talks about this, this idea that we are built on something. And as we talk, the temple is built on God's word. You know, we live in a very, I don't know if you know this, this might offend you, but Western culture, American culture, French culture, a very individualistic society. Did you know that? Is it a shock to you? We live in a very individualistic society. But when we understand that actually we form the temple of God, that starts to change things. You know, sometimes we even want to be our own foundation. And yet this passage says, no, no, no. Not only are you not the temple on your own, but you're not the foundation. We have to fight to keep God's word, the teachings of the apostles, the prophets, Jesus as our foundation that is our temple. The foundation has already been laid. Be careful that you're not creating another one.